Hey Kegnesis, it's Marisha. So yeah, I heard that some of y'all were going back to school. I don't know if you would ever want to give a stack of book cakes to someone because they're going back to school, but why not? Encouragement through cake always works out if you ask me. So, in case you're thinking about doing that, I'm going to make a stack of books cake. How do you say that? I'm going to make a stack of books cake. Uh, some books cakes. I'm going to stack some cakes and they're going to look like some books. I'm going to make three different books. You can pick, of course, whatever books that you would like. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and press on the notification bell to get the notifications or else subscribing really don't mean anything because YouTube, you know, they did their little updates and they just changed stuff around. But I'm not judging. I am. So anyway, let's get started. So the first part when planning out your book cake are your edible prints. Now these are going to be your book covers, the spines of your book, and everything like that. So you would want to first start off by printing them in color. And you need them to be as saturated as possible just in case if the prints don't come out as saturated. And you're going to want to fit the edible print to the cake. The size of this book is the size that I want it for my cake to be. So you have to remember though, when you get them printed, the sugar sheet is going to be a lot smaller than the print. So the sugar actually starts right here. You can go to the bakery department of your local stores. I go to Giant and I also go to ShopRite. Giant is actually less expensive. So this costs $6 per print. It's not perfect, but it's, it's very, very close. If you don't know what edible prints are, they're just thin sheets of sugar paste. And the ink is edible. So what you'll do is you'll just peel that away from the actual paper. You know, I end up just like snacking on that, you know. I mean, you paid for it. You might, as, you might as well. I've trimmed out my edible print. So this is actually what the cake is going to be as far as size. We're going to need for this part to go flush against the board. I'm going to leave about a quarter inch all around on these three sides. All of the cuts have to be somewhat perfect. I'm just going to lay this on top. Just make a little indentation. Oh snap, we got tasty leftovers. Oh my goodness, look at that! For my second book cake, I actually had enough scraps to create a top layer. So I have one solid bottom layer and then the trimmings from that bottom are right here and then the trimmings from that first cake are right here. I can pretty much just slap on some frosting and trap all those crumbs and bring everything together. And then this is the last cake, which is just a single layer cake. It's gonna be the smallest book. As you can see, like all of the other cakes, I cut a quarter inch of that board all around. Once all of your cakes are prepped and look like this, now we can take some white fondant and roll it around all of the sides of the cake with the extra board. And this is going to act as our pages. We're gonna trim that up. It's so easy with some scissors. I just use scissors all around the cake. And you can also use your fondant smoother to make sure that your fondant is perfectly on there. Now to measure out your fondant, I'm using the actual edible print as well as the height of the cake. So you're going to just trim around your edible print. This is the easiest way. And the edible print, as you can see, is still attached to the paper. And then I'm gonna go ahead and extend that about three inches so that I have a good amount of fondant to cover the spine of the book as well. And this is so easy with a fondant mat. I honestly wouldn't want to do it any other way. It's just ridiculously easy because you could put it on there, you could kind of adjust it and move it around. Make your fondant the same color of your book cover. I've never actually seen the book in person, but since the top is like that blue color, I figured of course I would make the entire cake blue and then you just peel your edible print off and apply it with a little bit of water onto your cake mm -hmm. 
Now for the next cake, which is one of the big cakes, same process. I put that white fondant around the circumference of the cake. I measured out my dark blue fondant. This is like the closest blue that I can get to match the edible print. And then I'm going to lay my fondant on same way. And sometimes I do like to make that little indent on the side of the cake for the larger books. And then for the last book, same process. I decided to make this book yellow because the majority of that cover was like a yellow and an orange color. With all of the books, you wanna take the fondant that you used and cut out about a quarter inch strips to cover all three of those extra sides of cake board. For my dowels, I'm gonna use some smoothie straws. They're big like bubble tea straws. And I don't wanna completely cover all of the books. So I'm gonna kinda of make them cat a corner, which means that my dowels are gonna be placed on the edges of the cakes as well. And then the last thing to do is just to take some fondant and cut out the titles of all of your books and use those for the spine of the books if you don't have edible prints for those as well. Make little stripes for the edges of your spine. And that's it. Now, Kegnistas, go off into the world and learn something new and never, ever, ever stop learning. Couture and a stack of books cake. Bye, guys. My favorite books were always recipe books. Recipe and nonfiction. Yeah, I didn't need to be told any stories. Tell me the truth. If you love cupcakes and if you love cake decorating and you just need ideas, I mean every single page is, is basically just filled with cakes that bakeries have done. I would be angry too, he got his whole arm bitten off, look at that. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite book is, maybe I could check it out because I love to read. My favorite thing on my phone is Wattpad, like I'm always on Wattpad reading internet books. Today's Cake Nista comment is going to come from Shannon Rabello. Shannon says, aye aye, Captain. That's why I love her. That's why I love her, that's why I love her. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it if you did. If you didn't, there's a like button that you could press as well. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I have like no Instagram friends. Can I get some Instagram friends, please? And then my Facebook fan page is facebook.com slash Mauritius Couture Cakes where we can like talk and chat and stuff. I will see you guys soon. Bye, Cake Nistas. Mwah.